This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tamika Artis, and here's a look at some of today's top stories. Deputies are investigating a shooting in northern Kentucky that left one woman dead, two others injured, including a three-year-old child. Investigators say John C. Gentry shot Tiffany Kidwell and three-year-old Ezekiel Gentry killing Kidwell. The three-year-old is expected to survive. Deputies also say that Gentry shot another man while trying to escape. He is now in custody. Happening today, you can find pop-up coronavirus testing taking place this morning in Winton Hills. Today's clinic will be happening at the Winton Hills Academy from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. You do not need a doctor's referral to get a test, no appointment necessary, and best of all, it is free. Veterans can get a flu shot today at a special drive through clinic. The flu shots are free to veterans enrolled at the Cincinnati VA Medical Center. The clinic will be open at the VA on Vine Street from 8 a.m. till 2 p.m. Another clinic will be held next Saturday, October 10th. Appointments are preferred, but walk-ups are okay. The clinic provided some 90 flu shots at last week's clinic. The largest walk to end Alzheimer's in the region is hitting the streets, but participants will be spread out across the tri-state. The Cincinnati tri-state walk to end Alzheimer's is usually held at Sawyer Point, but this morning you are encouraged to walk in your own neighborhoods. The online opening ceremony takes place at 840 and the walk begins promptly at 9. Austin, how's the weather? Well, Tamika, it looks like uh, some gorgeous fall weather. We're looking at temperatures topping out in the 60s uh, for this afternoon, uh, right around 63 degrees. Uh, and we'll see some sun breaks, but the clouds will be moving back in. We're going to see some mostly cloudy skies overnight. But this evening, temperatures in the 50s uh, for most of the evening, eventually some mid 40s. But uh, your seven day forecast showing rain chances returning for primarily Sunday afternoon, but much drier weather on the horizon here across the region.